Hello, I'm John Crockett here at WEF Tech 2014 with Rob and Mark with EnviroCert International. Gentlemen, tell me a little bit about EnviroCert International, who you are and what you do. EnviroCert International is an is a international company that 30 years ago was started evaluating erosion and sediment control. There was no, this was new and innovative thoughts uh, in, a, in a very infant field. And what we've grown into is a certifying body that provides four different certifications for individuals and professionals in a wide variety of fields to demonstrate that they have attained an expertise in erosion sediment control, stormwater, stormwater quality, municipal, and inspection. Are there any prerequisites for giving this training to a, any certain individual? That's a great question and, and one that uh, I think sets us apart from many other training programs uh, around the country. Uh, with EnviroCert, we feel that we are a true certification body. So to apply and become certified through the organization, you must demonstrate not only your level of expertise through the examination process, but also that you have adequate experience in education. There are education and experience uh, requirements for each of the three certifications. They vary by certification, which would, I think, be understandable. But oftentimes, a lot of other uh, training programs are just a, a training certificate. You take a take a course, you pass a, a test at the end of the course, and you're you're certified, so to speak. But with ours, we also have uh, continuing education requirements. So it's truly a professional certification. I would imagine, especially for the inspectors that are continuing to revisit sites, they would want to continue their education so they can see the changes and in, in the, the moves that are happening within the industry. Absolutely. Uh, you know, this, as Rob had said earlier, this is a very dynamic and changing industry. Uh, it's still in its infancy, it's still growing, and so technology is changing rapidly. And so it's vitally important that uh, professionals continue to hone their skills and, and pay attention to what's happening in the industry so that they can stay on top of uh, the changing technologies. And if I can add to that, Andrew, one of the things that EnviroCert does, which is why we call ourselves kind of the gold medal standard, is we are the, we are the certification body that started saying there needs to be these standards in the industry. There needs to be national and international standards in the industry. We will require all of our professionals that are certified in the four bodies to obtain continuing education credits annually. So they're going to be required to attend college classes, to attend conferences you know, like WEF and IUCA, and to continue to stay up on what's going on with the different uh, industry manuals and papers. So because we recognize the changes that Mark spoke about and how complicated and complex this particular field is, EnviroCert has strict requirements that require these individuals to have continuing education every year. Talk to us about your levels of certification, what they are and what they mean. Okay. Well, our, our, our first certification that was developed uh, over 30 years ago was the Certified Professional in Erosion and Sediment Control. And it deals primarily with uh, stormwater uh, discharges from land disturbance. And that can be anywhere from an agricultural environment or just erosion that occurs naturally out in, in nature and there's a desire to correct it. Uh, all the way through the urban environment and construction projects that are that are ongoing in, in our cities and towns. Uh, and with the uh, erosion and sediment control uh, portion, they're working on design of the system to minimize those erosion uh, impacts and the sediment that is discharged from that. So it, it's, a, it's a pretty well-rounded uh, certification for the land disturbance portion of, of, uh, of a project. From there, you know, I think after the CPES are looking at these stormwater and non-stormwater, you know, discharges that are related to, like Mark said, any kind of land disturbance activity, we have the CPSWQ process, which is a storm, a professional stormwater certification. And we look at those for engineers and regulators that are, that have an analytical skill set and what we'll do is we will then start looking at what's going on with drainage we'll start modeling the drainage runoff or we'll look at how streams and rivers are going to flow and what we're now looking at is the pollutants that are being uptaken 
by the various activities. It could be related to land development, it could be redevelopment, it could be depending on the permits in a, in a particular city, county, or agency, uh, any kind of improvements that are being done. We're now going to look at what the pollutant loading is, you know, how much nitrogen or phosphorus, uh, you know, what other, there's a variety of pollutants. It could be temperature, it could be habitat impacts. There's, there's a variety of habitats that they're, they're trying to be preserved. But the CPSWQ will try to do the modeling. The stormwater certification looks at the modeling and how can we then reduce pollutants? Okay, how can we try to emulate natural conditions? So that's what that next certification does. And then we move on to our to the third one, which is our newest certification, which is a certified municipal stormwater uh, professional or specialist. And these are the cities and counties. Um, almost every single city and state uh, and county have a municipal permit. Um, the EPA has um, usually industrial, they'll have construction, and they'll have municipal permits or multi-sector permits. So we're dealing with commercial development. And so the CMS4 specialist is, has a little bit of expertise in, in the previous two certifications that we've talked about, where they're looking at what's going on with the city and how do we maintain the integrity of the city? Uh, what practices do we need to put in effect to reduce pollution, all right, because of what's going on in an urban or ultra-urban environment? If you're a civil engineer, you may look at this to heighten you know, your professional awareness, whether you're in court or in front of a city, state agency where you can say, look, I have this, not only am I a registered civil engineer, which is quite an accomplishment, but I also have this additional certification that shows my specialization in a particular area. But the municipal, the CMS 4S that we've created, this is really targeted at a, another audience. And there could be a crossover in all the people I've talked about, but these are people that work at the state, city, federal level that have to deal with the regulatory framework that are occurring in these agencies and demonstrate that they have, you know, an expertise and an understanding of what they're practicing. And though and those can occur both in the private and public sector. So that when you come and you're appearing before a city or planning commission, you know, you can say, look, I have these expertises in these fields. And so those are the first of our three certifications. And Mark can talk about the inspector one, which covers all of them in a different way. Yes, uh, the Certified Erosion, Sediment, and Stormwater Inspector Certification is really geared towards that field personnel, maybe at a municipal level, but also at a construction site level. May work for a contractor, may work for a developer, uh, or the municipality uh, in inspecting uh, construction sites. And also more today, uh, a growing area is inspecting those post-construction best management practices that are placed out there uh, during construction, but then are remaining throughout the life of this new project uh, to mitigate any stormwater impacts from the, uh, from the project itself. So an inspector is gonna continuously go back to the project, keep on checking on it, making sure that those things, those regulations are being met. Yes, yes, that, 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 it's a critical part of it. There you have it, everybody. I'm John Crockett signing off here from WEF Tech 2014. We just heard from Rob and Mark. If you want to hear more information, you can go to EnviroCertintl.org.